Um, from this morning, uh, obviously uh, there's a chance now for the Minister to talk us through what are the, uh, the latest in our um, Fire Action Week, but more importantly our fire safety campaign for Victoria for this summer. But I should, I should also acknowledge the importance of where we've moved significantly in, uh, in welcoming our partners from Health, Human Services, Education, Justice and other government departments. And I think that's a significant uh, step that we have noticed in Victoria in the last number of years, the, uh, the connection and the commitment from government agencies. So thank you. Uh, in doing so, I'll hand over now to uh, Minister Ryan. Uh, for this particular uh, press conference, it is the launch of the Summer Fire Campaign advertisements. Those advertisements will commence on the 2nd of December. Uh, they will run for two months. We found last year running them for three months was probably just a little long and that people uh, had exhausted their interest to some degree by the end of the third month, uh, so they will run for, uh, for two months. And uh, the principal message to be taken out of the advertisements this year will be, if you are in two minds, then leave early. If you wait, it's too late, is the essential message. The secondary message running underneath that is complacency is a killer. We are very concerned that people uh, three years on from Black Saturday have reached a position in mind where they do not see fire as being the ever-present threat which it is. And in fact, it is a threat. We live in the most fire-prone state and indeed the most fire-prone place on the face of the planet. I'd like to talk about the importance of local CFA brigades and the community residents to have a conversation. I think it's really, really important that residents know their specific risk in their area. I think CFA do an amazing job in generic messages, uh, you know, up-to-date safety messages all the time, but there will always be those little questions from the living room you know, couch saying, I wonder what would happen if that ridge up there would catch on fire. I wonder what would happen. Or, or I wonder, wonder what our specific risk is in our street. And they're all legitimate questions and no one's expected to know all the answers. However, firefighters are trained with the knowledge of how fires can behave and more importantly, how we could try to prevent them. So they are local experts with local knowledge and they're local people. A lot of those members in local brigades have lived in their communities for most of their lives and they've probably been fighting fires for a number of those years. So they are local experts and they pass on that knowledge and that, and that experience to their fellow members. We want to share that information with our community to better prepare you. CFA are absolutely chock-a-block full of amazing, enthusiastic, passionate and creative people. Brigades are coming up with amazing initiatives to engage with their community. Things like the old-fashioned sausage sizzle down the main street, offering some local fire safety advice. Things like uh, installing information boards, keeping up-to-date, relevant information. Other things might be like uh, tapping into their local community events, like the Carols by Candlelight's coming up. Take the truck down for the kids to have a look. Take some fire safety information and offer advice there and then. I'm currently working on like a, a, a children's um, targeted musical live performance to engage with the kids. With that, you receive the parents that come along. You can have more conversations. We want to share this information from what we have to residents.